Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Vinny here. Happy New Year to you. I hope that you are off to the start of an amazing new year. I hope things are going well in your world, you're staying healthy, and you have a lot of great stuff in the pipeline for 2022. It's been a little while since I've posted a video, and that's because my community where I live has gone through a series of devastating fires that damaged and destroyed over a thousand homes. These fires were not up in the mountains where it's dispersed. They were in a community that is densely populated and over a thousand homes were lost. It has been devastating for people that I know, colleagues, families that we are close to. And for that reason, I haven't felt comfortable coming on and putting on a smile. What's been magical, incredible through this tough time is that this community is coming together. It has been a tough time for people. I, I can't imagine what they're going through. But it's amazing when you go to individual GoFundMe accounts and see the generosity that people are willing to put forward. I've seen people donate hundreds, thousands of dollars to people that are suffering. And to me, that's just amazing to see. It shows me that this community is strong and that we're gonna get through this. I know that we have a lot of very generous people in the fragrance community, and I hope you understand why I stepped away for just a week and a half or so to really get my mind right, to figure out ways that I can help through this tough time. I personally don't feel that in donating money, time, resources, that you should ever expect something in return. But I also believe when you do generous, thoughtful things like that, that the universe has a way of bringing it back to you. So I just wanted to share that with you. Happy to be back. Happy to be talking about fragrance today. So what I wanted to dive into today is hazelnut fragrances. Hazelnut is a scent that I absolutely adore. My favorite thing to do each and every day first thing in the morning around five or six o'clock in the morning is grab a cup of coffee with sugar-free hazelnut flavoring in it i also like heavy cream what can i say i like my coffee rich but this flavoring is incredible i could probably bathe in this i wish that they made a dessert in this flavor they probably have something but this is the fragrance that I want to smell like. So today I wanted to share with you some of my very favorite fragrances that are hazelnut centric or have a hazelnut note in them. If that interests you, please stay tuned and I will jump right in. The first fragrance that I have here is Invite Only Amber and this is from the house of Kaali. This is probably one of the fragrances here that has the least amount of hazelnut in it, but this is an excellent fragrance and one that I thought was worth mentioning in this review. Invite Only Amber is a little bit different from the other fragrances that I have on this list. This one is probably a little bit spicier. This one has a very robust notes profile. So in the top you have some gourmand notes, you have sour cherry, honey, chocolate, and hazelnut. You also have a little bit of tobacco leaf in that top. In the mid you have cinnamon, may rose, damask rose, and citrus leaf. In the base you have amber, cypriol oil, agarwood, vanilla, musk, benzoin, patchouli, and sandalwood. This is just a really beautiful scent profile. Hazelnut is not the lead character in this fragrance. It does mix in there and I'm not sure that I can discreetly pick it out. But that being said, I do think this is a well blended perfume with a beautiful scent profile. This one has kind of a festive feel to it. It's one that I like to wear around the holiday season. It's somewhat in the vein of Angel Share by Killian, but I do find that this one is quite smooth. Whereas Angel Share has this heavy boozy feel to it, a lot of cinnamon, maybe even more of a gourmand quality to it. This one I think is more like what I would expect to be in a beautiful, rich, smooth candle. This one has cinnamon and vanilla. It has some ambery warmth to it. A hint of sweetness with those gourmand notes like cherry, chocolate, hazelnut, and honey. Just a well done composition that I think somebody who's looking for a hazelnut fragrance that doesn't have hazelnut as a key player, this would be a great one to check out. Again, this is Invite Only Amber by the House of Kaali. Next on the list is a fragrance I'm just gonna refer to as Passagiata. I'll put the full name up here. It's a little bit lengthy. I don't wanna butcher the name. This is one that I was super interested in because there was a period in time last summer where there was tons of hype on this fragrance. This is one that 
I'm not 100% sure is authentic. I spoke about it before on my channel when I had just hauled the fragrance where I was really contemplating the authenticity of this one. I do believe this bottle is authentic. My gut is telling me that it probably is. I purchased it from somebody who had very high seller ratings. The atomizer on this fragrance is absolutely incredible. There's a couple other things that made me think that it was real. This brand, I imagine, is not faked like other fragrance brands such as Baccarat Rouge 540 or Chanel. This fragrance brand being Trissardi is probably less faked than other brands that we're familiar with. The other thing is that this smells quite similar to all of the other reviews that I've read, so I do believe for that reason it's authentic. A couple things make me still question it. I find it to be a soft scent, and I do question where I purchased it from, but I won't get into that here. If you're interested, you can watch my former video on this perfume. Now about the scent. This is gentle, it's delicate, it's creamy, it has a very present tuberose note, and I can definitely pick up the nuttiness, the woodiness that's in this perfume. In addition to the hazelnut and tuberose that's in this fragrance, you have coffee and cinnamon at the top, in the mid you have coconut and jasmine sandback, and then in the base you have vanilla, cedar, and white musk. These sound like very gourmand notes, and I was expecting this to be just a little bit more gourmand than it is. When you really press your nose to this one, you can kind of pick up that coconut, but to me this one is more reminiscent of a very luxurious, creamy, lotion type fragrance. The blend in this one is smooth, it's very well done. For somebody who likes that creamy, lotion type scent, I think you'd really like this. This is a great option. For me, I like it, but it hasn't moved up into the love category for me because it's lacking a little bit of that gourmand quality that I like. The next couple of fragrances that I'll talk about on this list are deeply gourmand in my opinion, and I tend to gravitate more towards those gourmand type scents. So nothing about this fragrance itself. I do think a lot of people are really, really going to enjoy this scent. But for me, I would probably rate it about a six and a half out of 10. It's not one that I really crave, but I find beautiful, if that makes sense. My overall sentiment is there are tons of people that are gonna love this. It's just not what I'm wearing. This is Passagiata. I'll put the whole name up here again by Trissardi. Next up is a fragrance that is a lifer for me. This is a fragrance I plan to always have in my collection. This is Angel Muse and this is the EDT. Now in this one, the fragrance is much more gourmand to my nose and I can kind of pick up the hazelnut that's in here. Other notes in this perfume are mandarin orange, passion fruit, and lemon at the top. In the mid you have hazelnut cocoa spread and cassis. And in the base you have vetiver, akigala wood, caramel, and chocolate. Now this is an incredible fragrance. There is passion fruit in it, a little bit of citrus, and you get that at the top, but it doesn't stick around too long. It's there in the background, but really it's those rich, dense, beautiful gourmand notes that really stand out to me. I do find the EDP version of this fragrance to also be quite stunning, but for me, I've been gravitating more towards the EDT recently because it's a little bit lighter. I know that's a little bit contrary to typical logic where you're wearing heavier, dense fragrances in the winter time, but I do feel like this one is very versatile year round. It's one that I crave, and when I want a rich gourmand, this is an excellent option. This is one of the more intoxicating fragrances that I have in my collection. I do find it to be warm. This is excellent for any gourmand lover. What I will say about this one is that it wasn't exactly a love at first sniff. Like other fragrances I've talked about in my collection before, this one did have to grow on me a little bit, but it did turn into a love. This is one I'll have in my collection for life if I can swing it. This is Angel Muse, the EDT by Moogler. Next up is La Via Belle, and this is the Intense by Lancome. This is a fragrance I absolutely adore. Another one that I want to have in my collection forever. This is a beautiful gourmand type version of La Via Belle. In fact, this is probably one of the most gourmand from the collection. Yes, La Via Belle Intense Mint has that raspberry that makes it very sweet and a little bit fruity. And I do find this one to be fruity as well. There's bergamot in here, orange, pear, 
currant buds there's also pink pepper this fragrance has a lot of the typical notes that you might find in the la via belle dna for example bergamot iris some form of jasmine you also find pink pepper in a lot of the Livia bells what makes this one stand apart from the others is those base notes there's hazelnut and whipped cream in the base and it just makes this one so rich so beautiful not too gourmand not too sweet but it definitely has some sweetness to it and i think a lot of people that like the original la via belle are probably gonna like this scent as well this is nutty it's sweet it's cozy it's warm this is a fragrance that i bought as a gift many times for people that are in my life and i have to say when they put this on when they wear it i absolutely adore the scent profile on other people and i appreciate it on me as well this is a gorgeous fragrance one that also has hazelnut in it la via belle intense by lancome last fragrance on my list is one that i am so happy to finally have in my collection this one has been on my mind for quite some time since i initially tried it and it is quite pricey so i've hesitated in bringing in my collection because i wanted to be absolutely sure it is a love and it is a love this is tribeca by the house of bond number no. nine i've always been mesmerized by the intoxicating gourmand notes in here there's hazelnut caramel cacao this is so well blended with the woody notes which is cedar in this one as well as the jasmine sandbag you can definitely get a little white floral in this fragrance similar to how it's done in the only one intense by dolce and gabbana but this one goes even more in a gourmand direction to me when i first played with this one i did feel like it was a little bit out of reach from a price point standpoint but i did look around i've been watching it consistently and i was able to purchase this off of a reliable seller at a very reasonable price point one thing that i really love about this fragrance is that while it doesn't really have any tropical notes like ylang ylang or frangipani or coconut it just has almost like a beach type vacation vibe it's really hard for me to explain because it's not your typical beachy type fragrance so i don't want to mislead people into believing that but there's something in here that makes you feel like there's some form of coconut or something along those lines i don't know how it's done the notes listed are cacao hazelnut in the top there's jasmine sandback and cedar in the mid and then ambroxan caramel and moss in the base so my guess is that somehow that ambroxan is giving it a little bit of that salty type vibe but i just love the way it's done here to me this fragrance is probably a nine out of ten i really do enjoy it i love the scent profile i find it to be absolutely stunning and i really do feel like myself when i wear this this is also a gourmand lovers type fragrance definitely recommend trying this one before buying because of that price point what really baffles me on this one is that when you go to fragrantica it does have a quite low rating i believe it's only a 3.89 out of 5 which does suggest that a lot of people don't enjoy this one I'm completely shocked by that. I would expect it to have a higher rating. In fact, I think on Parfumo, it may actually have a higher rating. I personally think it deserves better. I think this is an excellent fragrance. Another thing that completely surprises me about this one is that a lot of Fragrantica users have said this reminds them of or smells similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. That did catch me off guard. I've played with this quite a bit now and didn't really have that perception early on, but I am interested in sharing my thoughts on that in an upcoming This Not That Epic Fragrance Battle. So stay tuned if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on that. Overall, I think this is a great fragrance. Like I said, I think it's a nine out of 10 for me, a beautiful scent. One I think gourmand lovers are gonna appreciate, they're gonna enjoy, definitely test before you buy. This is Tribeca by Bond number no. nine. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I truly appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video on hazelnut fragrances that I have in my collection, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks to those of you that reached out just to check in to see how I was doing. It's been a little bit longer than usual since I posted. It means a lot to me that you care. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the Marshall fires that came through Boulder County, I'll link some information below. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I hope you have a lot to be grateful and thankful for. 
And until next time, I'll see you soon.